We're good, we're good. All right. So why are we here again? This is Camp Lakeside. There's no actual lake here, but there have been reports. Of a lake? What? <laughs> what, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, you're good. Good? My name is Hyena Johnson, and we're here at Camp Lakeside. There's no lake here. But, there used to be, 200 years ago. It dried up. But that's besides the point. We're here to investigate some paranormal activities. If you look over there, that, that right there used to be the backstage where all the little kitties would do their shows for their parents. But three years ago, they found a little boy in that tree stump. I mean, we can we can go in close. <laughs> All right. Okay. So so right there, right in there, the three years ago, a little boy's carcass was found in there. Or, or corpse, I should say. But yeah, ever since then, I mean, even before then, this place had an eerie vibe, but now it was confirmed. Uh, some, some very dark, witchcrafty black magic was at work here. And that's why every summer, a camper goes missing. Yeah, and that's, that's why we're here. Uh, because no, one's, no one ever comes here anymore. It's just a bunch of myths and legends. But I'm here to get some solid evidence, some, some hard facts about what happened here through, through video camera capture. All right. Okay. So right here in Camp Lakeside, you can see all the vegetation in this area has stopped growing. Now, now you might be thinking, why that might be, I'm here to tell you, it's unknown. It's because the magnetic fields have been polarizing the electrons on the, on the grass, preventing them from photosynthesizing. Oh. Which is why in paranormal areas, you usually see no vegetation or limited vegetation. So definitely here, this is where they spawn the, the, the ghosties. Oh, okay. So this is the spawning yeah. center. This, I'm pretty sure if we, if we put some sigils around here, trapping the, trapping the, the specters, we will be born. able to get them, but. Weren't they already born? Huh? They, were all, they already spawned, right? So we couldn't get them. What? What do you, you don't know shit. You might be wondering why I wear this jacket in this humid, hot weather. Well, that's because this jacket has been blessed with holy water and it will protect me from the forces of evil. Couldn't you bless something else? Huh? Couldn't you bless something else? Like what? Like what would I be wearing that I could bless? Like My t-shirt? That's fucking stupid. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, this jacket. So this jacket is is threaded. You can you can take a look at the material here. Mm. It's threaded with uh, with. Oh, is that like the the veil that Jesus used? You know? What? The f 
fuck are you talking about? This is cotton. Yeah, but like the cotton was was uh, dipped in salt. Like, <laughs> what? Why is this you, funny to did you? you season, the, <laughs> season the jacket? So, let me let me explain to you the history of of salting. Yeah. Of, of salting and blessing. Yeah. So, normally, what normal people think when I say holy water is, you know, the shit Catholics use to baptize their babies. This ain't the same thing here. Uh, thing is, paranormal uh, activity, uh, the whole paranatural is a science. It's actually a science and, you know, people don't look into it because, you know, they don't believe what they can't see. But holy water, real holy water, uh, is actually salt and sulfur solution mixed in to H2O and that will then create actual holy water that you can use to fight the baddies of the night. Mm. Oh man, that was hard to explain. Sometimes you can, uh, sometimes they take like silver solution, like liquid silver, and you know, they extra bless it, make it extra holy. <laughs> <laughs> What does this take off? Uh, this, am, I, am this, I talking about this my path. jacket again? No, we, we got enough of you talking about your jacket. Yeah, but you don't know about the paranormal weave here. But we oh. don't have to go into that. We can go yeah. into my arsenal and my, and my... I mean, is everything you're wearing, you know? Everything? No, it's, it's just the jacket. Just the jacket? Yeah. The, so those aren't tactical shoes or anything? No, no, these are just Converse. They're just old. Oh. I don't like wearing new shit when I go into... Uh, investigating uh, these these forested areas. If I'm going into like a haunted house or a mansion or something, I'll wear something a bit nicer because you know you don't have to worry about the wear and tear. Yeah. But you know when I'm when I'm somewhere like this, you know this place is a shithole. Let's be honest. Uh, I don't want to get my clothes dirty or anything. So I, I just wear old shit. But always gotta wear the jacket because that's what protects me. And he'll protect you, cause then you know I get to use my. Oh yeah, yeah. I was meaning to ask you, what's that blue shit you're carrying out? What? Okay, so this blue shit, I'm, I'm carrying. It's used to smuggle. Man. It's just used to. You <laughs> just used to smuggle weapons. Yeah. I thought it was just. I thought it was something else. No, no. It's because I have to conceal my weapons. I can't do it, you know, cause uh, it's really uncomfortable when I put it in my jacket. So you I could mean, have used anything. I yeah. could have, but but this blue, uh, man, you got a point there. I really thought you would use it like a shield against ghosts or something. I guess not. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I. I or maybe mean, I, we can cut this and just make some. And if you're wondering what's in this blue sack I'm carrying around, look, we had to smuggle this in. They wouldn't let us. But, all right, just. See that beauty? What a beaut. What the fuck? What are you doing? You, you mocking me again? <laughs> we're, we're cutting this. Look at, look at this. See, I can't... Uh, when they gave us permission to investigate these grounds, um, you know, we, can, we can't bring weapons in public. I mean, this is still a public place, but they don't have to know. And I need this to when shit goes down, when we actually find some banshees or or wraiths or polter polter geese that's plural for poltergeist <laughs> when you're when you're hunting when you're hunting beasts that are unnatural to this world you got to use silver silver's the only way to go uh, that's why I got one one mag of hold on again I gotta be careful here All right I got one mag of, of sil silver silver bullets here see that oh shit man look at look at that that's some nice reloading action you got there yeah oh shit it's stuck <laughs> Let 
Let me hide this before the cops come. Cops don't understand what I do to protect this world. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying about the ghosties here, they're not gonna spawn until 3 a.m. like all ghosties do, and then they then go back as soon as the sun rises. Oh, okay. Um, so that's when most of the haunting happens. But, you know, let's go deeper into the world. Right. Close to the Garden of the Five Senses. 